Senator Murphy took Twitter by storm on the last day of 2015, drawing attention to gun violence in the United States. Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. I'm Brian Spiros. Ann and Darren have the night off. Throughout the day, Senator Murphy tweeted all the mass shootings that happened over the last year across the nation. And this comes just days before President Obama is set to make a major announcement on gun control. News 8's Jason Newton joins us now to break it all down for us. Hey, Jason. Hey, Brian, it was a strong political statement for his year in review. The website shootingtracker.com puts the tally at 372 mass shootings in 2015 alone. Senator Murphy spent hours copying them all to Twitter. Here's an example. This is the senator's Twitter feed here. This is from yesterday. Nothing but dozens and dozens of tweets that identified the city and the amount of casualties for each mass shooting, 372 in all a bold and a meticulous way to shine light on the issue. Senator Chris Murphy spent hours on Twitter for New Year's Eve, documenting every mass shooting in chronological order that took place during 2015. We had a mass shooting more than once a day on average over the course of 2015, and I don't want people to forget that. For the next several hours, Murphy went on a Twitter tirade mentioning all 372 mass shootings defined by four or more people shot in one incident. This one from November, blood on the 22nd, five shot in Seattle, five in Newburgh, New York, four in Chicago, four in Brownsville, Texas, and my God, 17 in New Orleans. And this one from the national headlines. On the 27th, a gunman walks into a Planned Parenthood clinic and kills three and injures nine. Four more shot in Sacramento. Murphy making a political statement with every tweet, saying the country has grown too accustomed to the carnage. That shouldn't be normal. That should be outrageous. And I want my colleagues in 2016 to commit themselves to do something about it. Murphy concluded the list with this tweet. My point? The New Year's resolution of every congressman and senator should be to make sure 2016 is different. The senator's Twitter statement upsetting to some. The president of the Connecticut Citizens Defense League released a statement to News 8 that reads in part, Americans want to be able to protect themselves from criminals, and the government is making it much harder for everyday people to do so. And gun control is once again a political headline at the nation's capital. President Obama is expected to announce executive actions next week aimed at background checks for people who buy guns online and at gun shows. Live in the studio, Jason Newton, News 8.